At Lake Elkhorn doing some spring fishing, beautiful day out, 65 degrees air temp, 56 degrees water temp. And when I first got here, I noticed some uh, one inch minnows along the shoreline. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a bait I normally don't use for bass, but it's really good at imitating a small bait. It's the inline spinner. So we're gonna throw this around and see what we get. This one, got him. First fish of the day, what do we got here? Oh yeah, a little bass. Nope. Oh, no, no. Alright, well there you guys go. The inline spinner right there. Imitating those little uh, one inch minnows. Getting the job done. That was, uh, I pretty much just made my intro. That was my first cast after the intro. Let's see if we can keep it up. So I'm having some problems with line twist right now. It's basically because this, uh, this bait turns in the water and flashes, but it also twists up my line. So after a certain point, it just starts rolling and completely ruins the action. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, I usually don't like using a snap swivel like this. It adds a lot of bulk, but we're going to tie it on because uh, we need this moving swivel to prevent line twist. Got it rigged up, and I honestly don't like the look of this at all. It's adding a lot of bulk, but uh, thankfully there's, the water is uh, pretty stained and there's a chop on it from the wind, so uh, hopefully it doesn't make too much of a difference. There's one, another one. Oh yeah, he's running. Let's, hope, let's see if I can actually land one. It's my third bite. It feels like good fish. Oh, oh, these, fish these fish are feisty. The little guy on the spinner. Oh, thank you. Barely got him on the bottom lip. We're using light gear, so even a small one fights pretty hard. Feisty. There's one. Fish on. That little one. After a winter of uh, not catching fish show, well, catching not as much fish, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> that little baby took in the top is good. So how I'm fishing this is I'm just trying to cover as much water as I possibly can, uh, making a couple casts in the area, moving around, pretty much fan casting. I moved to a spot, fan cast it, moved to the next spot, and uh, I'm, I'm reeling this bait as slow as I can just so I can feel that those blades barely turning because the water is still pretty cool. You want to give those bass a chance to, uh, to eat it. And uh, since uh, I'm reeling it real slow along the bottom, I'm actually using braided line, which, uh, which you'd think that for a reaction bait, you want to use monofilament or fluorocarbon, which is true. But uh, I'm using braided line so I can feel those blades turning. I can control the depth of the bait easier. And I can also detect strikes better. I can detect if it's uh, running into wood or grass or bass, panfish. I can even tell the type of bite I'm getting. So it's... Um, and I'm always adding a fluorocarbon leader just for that added invisibility and uh, abrasion resistance because we are fishing around some logs. Let's get back out there. Things you don't see when you stay at home, 30 turtles stacked up on this log. It's an awesome sight. It's another reason why I love bank fishing. Um, besides catching fish, enjoying nature, exploring, seeing things like this is just awesome. You got to love it. I sometimes get asked why I like using shorter than average rods. A lot of fishermen like using seven foot to seven foot six rods. I like using six foot six to six foot nine rods a lot of the time. And the reason is, if you look to my left, there's brush. Look to my right, there's brush. Look behind me, there's brush. And above, also a lot of brush. So using this shorter rod allows me to make casts in these tight quarters that are less pressured because it's harder to make casts, harder to fish these kind of spots. And I also get more accuracy. So fishing these tight quarters, getting accurate casts like to that stump right there. And doing, uh, making those changes, those subtle differences can sometimes lead you to catching more fish and bigger fish. What's up guys? Oh, there's one, got one. Fish on. Oh, it's a little guy. A lot of little ones today. Uh, inline spinner. Just switch it up to a gold spinner. Sorry, from a gold to a silver. Uh, just a subtle change. I was getting a lot of bites and missing them, so trying to mix it up. Another bluegill sized bass, but you know, I'll take it. Uh. There's one. Got him. Oh, is this a bigger one? Uh, I don't know. 
I knew I'd catch one from this spot though. Oh, whoa. Okay, it's a little bit foul hook, that's why. They'll do that on this bait, They're swiping at it. That's why I'm missing so many bites. A lot of these fish are just swiping at it. Another little baby. But on this light gear, it's fun. Let him go, I'll show you guys what's up. We got a spring coming out of here, dropping some warm water. That's exactly why this guy's hanging around this area. Oh, I put him a little too shallow. All right, sorry buddy. Oh, he's going the wrong way. You need to turn around. There's one. Oh, next cast, right after release that. Don't tell me it's the same fish. Do not tell me this is the same fish. Let me see. Uh, no, this is a different fish. Let's see how he does in the uh, shallow spring. Oh, he went up the spring too. Was he big? Yeah, I haven't seen him when I came down here. Did you, did you get any good shots? Yeah. All right, there you go. Nice. Oh, got another one that is stacked. Three fish and three casts. They are stacked, guys, right behind. I mean, this, this spring right here is putting out warm water. That's exactly why they're here. Oh, four fish and four. Yeah. Oh really? Interesting. Yeah. How many pounds would you say that snapper was? Oh, he wasn't very big. Okay. Not for a snapper. Is, uh, I don't know. Man, that was crazy. Four consecutive casts, I caught a fish, but unfortunately, all four of those combined probably didn't add up to a pound. <laughs> but it's still pretty interesting to set a new personal best consecutive. Oh, there's another one. Consecutive. They are stacked here. Consecutive fish. Nope, there he goes. I think we'll count it. I will count that. Make that five casts. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say the streak finally ended. Oh, I don't know if we count that. You guys be the judge whether I caught six fish and six casts or not. But uh, let's go ahead and see if we can <laughs> get number seven. This is absolutely ridiculous. All right, looks like the streak's ending. Uh, all right, yep. That's the end of the streak. Six fish and six casts. That was, uh, that's pretty interesting. I'm not sure if I'm gonna top that for quite a while. Well, that's exactly why you wanna cover a lot of water when you're fishing, especially bigger lakes or reservoirs, because a lot of times these fish will stack up. And once you find that sweet spot, you can catch a lot of fish in a hurry. Another great thing is these inline spinner it's one of the easiest baits to fish. I mean, all you do is cast it out there and you can retrieve it fast, slow. You can pretty much do anything, catch fish on it. So if you're trying to take, uh, if you're trying to teach someone how to fish and they don't really have a patience for like a plastic, a Senko or something, give them an inline spinner. Oh, and they can get fish just like this. I mean, you know, if you catch a lot of bass, these aren't gonna be that much fun for you, but if you just love fishing and if you haven't caught that many fish yet, you're gonna love catching these, uh, these little chunks right here. I don't know what we're gonna call these Twinkie size or what, but there's a lot of them. Some of them put up a good fight. I'm not complaining. All right, that's about it for today. Had an awesome time on the water. Beautiful weather, caught a lot of fish. Unfortunately, couldn't get that big one, but uh, you know, you can't catch a big one every day. And I guess if you add up the total weight of each of my little fish, it might add up to one decent sized fish. But uh, be sure you guys get out in the water this spring. And if you wanna to try to catch some numbers, don't be afraid to throw the uh, inline spinner at them. There's one. Got him. Oh, my drag is too loose. Oh, this might be a keeper. Oh, it's a trout. Yes, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! About to call it a day. One last fish. End the day strong. I already done my outro. Decided to make one more cast before I walked my car. Boom. Never give up, guys. Never give up. Oh, okay. There you go, buddy. There he goes. Oh, another one. Oh, it's another trout. Oh, sick. Oh, man. Oh, nice. The bigger trout. Oh, I can't believe. Dude, this is awesome. Oh, it's a bigger rainbow. The next cast, very next cast. They're stacked over here. This is why you, this is why you cover water, guys. Beautiful rainbow. All right. Nice. 
That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at that beautiful green color. Man, the spinner catches everything. All right, let's go. Here you go, buddy. Ending it for real now. Awesome day. Six bass and six casts. Two trout and two casts. Can't beat it. Man, I love fishing.